of glass blowing. It's so um, sort of s slow. It's a much slower pace, and it's a uh, nice light to look at. And they, they get hypnotized. In a flame of 3,000 degrees, glass artist Ginny Ruffner molds her molten magic. This comes from a historical background of people working at county fairs, making little blown swans and wishing wells and things like that. But you won't find Jenny's creations on display at a neighborhood carnival. She is considered one of the most important glass artists in history. Her works already appear in textbooks, and respect for her unique style is international. Glass is a real poor conductor of heat and a real good conductor of light, so... So what I think is really cool is the way it lights up on the inside of my hand. And Jenny is just one of the growing number of glass artists now calling the Northwest home. It is their presence here that has helped make Seattle the world's most prominent city for artistry in glass. It's the galleries, it's the Pilchuck Glass School, it's the collections, it's the corporations who buy the work and help support the artists, it's the museum who shows the work, it's all the other little entities coming together to support that community of artists. There are a lot of artists, uh, literary and other kinds of visual artists that live here because the landscape is so beautiful, the light is beautiful, and the weather's in, in, uh, conducive to uh, contemplative work. <laughs> in other words, staying inside and making things. The images in Ginny's glass creations are reflections of her life and her love of all art. What I want the work to do is to make the viewer curious, to make the viewer pay attention and wake up and say, you know, why did she do that? Or to try and connect the dots intellectually and visually. A recurring image is Ginny's headless winged figure that she calls beauty, elusive and fleeting. It is also central to her larger works. They too weave a story in glass, imagery on the wing or twisting in a tornado of words. What's different about this is its size and its content. Each piece means something. They're not in there for not, they're all in there for a reason, but it is very complex. Yet through this jumble of images, Ginny believes she weaves order, stories of her life, whether clear or obscured, reflected through sculpted glass.